Gali Garuma Nyalina Jagunbal Yugamba Jagun Kiana Najangali Baya Nyanya Mobonya Jajangaya Can you feel it? No? It just got cold. The Bunyip story is a play about two school children who get teamed up. Isabella, you will be paired with Charlie. No! And they get teamed up to do a, a presentation on a mythological creature. Your mythological creature is the Bunyip. The Bunyip's are real myths. My dad told me. It pulls together all the factual pieces that we know about bunyips. It pulls together traditional Aboriginal stories about bunyips. But it looks at it through a young Aboriginal person's eyes, set today. My name is Charlie Turnbull, and I have a secret. Down the road from me lives a bunyip. It's ancient. It lives in a lagoon. People don't believe in the bunyip, but we don't care what they say, because we know they're real. There it is, Georgie! It looks like a giant seal. There for two nights! Most terrifying time of my life! We're going home and we're not going back! They're going to meet about 60 or 70 different characters in about 45 minutes. We gathered together to take the stories of this space traditionally and keep them preserved and hand them on to next generations. Well, what it's doing is giving us a lot of consistency in our culture to our younger ones. As you would have seen today, they were really embraced by it. It gets these kids to connect with the story, but also with the place, and gives them ownership, gives them responsibility. If you go and you say, do you know one Disney story, they'll all put up their hand. And then if you go, do you know one Indigenous story, one Aboriginal story from this region where we live? And all the hands go down. Stories are how we keep a society together. They tell us who we are and who we're not. When I saw it down there today, um, goose pimples, you know, you grow up hearing stories like this and, um, you know, Bunyip story is very, very similar to, to the one to where I come from. Uncle Drumley used to say, don't go swimming too deep in that Spring Creek, because there's a tunnel that goes all the way from Spring Creek all the way to Ilbogo Lagoon, and there's a Bunyip in Ilbogo Lagoon. Don't you go swimming in there. Now let me tell you, Finnamore, I believe in facts, and I have to say I don't believe a word of your story. You hear a story about two lovers by the Narang River Lagoon. She was so beautiful that the Bunyip became obsessed, stole her for himself, then spirited her away from the tribe. That was a story my mother heard when she was probably six years old, told to her by Granny Graham. Bunyip's powers could not overcome her strong feelings for her lost love. He searched the lands, calling for her. Yeah, I reckon it's good for any ages, adults, kids. I feel this play really speaks universally to everyone. You're a teenager or whether you're you know, an ad adult, I think you're going to enjoy it either way. quite valuable for all students to see this, whether or not they're English or SOS or art students, everyone's getting something and out of it. And they want to learn more about Indigenous culture and beliefs. I really want to know. You coming? I'm over the fence, aren't I? The blood throwing scream of the bunny. Come Tim. I know that place is just out of Boo Desert. Our mob said it was made by a platypus digging into the ground, trying to escape a dingo. A story like this can travel the breadth of the country. It appeared. There are stories from white Australia and there are stories from Aboriginal Australia and they come together in a harmonious way. Did you get it? It's only possible though because our elders have shared their stories so generously. We have been really respectful I think in telling their stories and telling their stories true to the word almost. You've got to be a good listener well before you can be a good storyteller. What I need from you is a bunyip hook. What bait will be going on the hook? I mean, will the hook be this big or this big or? The bait will be a cow. Yes, it was, I really liked it. It taught, it taught me a lot. It was fun, it was comedic, it was sad, it was the whole package. Very entertaining, but um, at the same time, very, um, very educational. I loved it. I think it was a, from a teacher's perspective and for our students, I think it was a really, um, incredible. Performance. I enjoyed it. It was pretty good to learn about the bunyip around this area. I'm going to have to be extra careful where I swim now. <laughs>